This week we'll be talking about basics of data manipulation in Excel. This class is a decision sciences class and we'll be dealing with business analytics. In business analytics, our main goal is to build models to support decision making. We will spend a lot of time trying to build good models, but we all need to know that a well-built model is useless if you don't have good data that goes with it. I'm sure many of you have heard of the term garbage in, garbage out. If you don't feed good data into a model, regardless of how well built your model is, how sophisticated it is, how much money you spend in it, you will not get good results. So then if you want to make good decisions using a well built model, you also need to make sure that you feed it good data. Those of you who have worked in the past, or those of you who are currently working, think about your experience with data in a business setting and how different that is from your experience with data in the classroom. When you look at textbook examples that gives you data, it's usually clean in a table. You don't need to worry about it. It makes perfect sense. Data in real life is hardly that. It's usually messy. It usually has issues. So our first goal in today's class is going to be try to figure out how we can clean the data and then go from there. In general, in any analysis situation where you need data, here are the steps you go through. First, you get the data. This could be through an internal source or an external source, depending on who your client is. Sometimes it might be easy to reach the data. Sometimes it might be hard to get the data. Well, if you think you're going to be working in a job where you will work with data a lot, I recommend that you actually learn SQL, which is a way of extracting data from your company's database. Once you get the data, then you need to look at it and see if it's clean. And in real life cases, as I said a moment ago, it's rarely clean. Real life data is mostly messy. So you try to clean it through several means, which I'll show you some today. Then you question the data. Does the data make sense intuitively? Is what the data doing in line with your intuition? There are two answers to this question and both are a good learning opportunity. If the data and your intuition does not jive, then either the data is wrong or your intuition is incorrect. If the data has a problem, then you need to look into it and figure out at which point the data became problematic. And by fixing this problem, you will prevent further mishaps in your analysis. If your intuition is wrong, it's also a learning opportunity. Then this means you do not know your business well enough yet. And it's a good place to examine your perspective on the business and adjust it given what data is doing. Once you clean and question the data and you now think that you have a good data set in your hands, then before you go into your analysis, you first need to do basic exploration of the data by doing some quick summaries, slicing, dicing the data, explore the data from various perspectives and various angles. This initial exploration will help you solidify your understanding of the data get you a better understanding of your business. Once you're done with all these four steps, then you can start analyzing data and using it in your model.